Alright guys, so once you plug in your Fire Stick and you come up to the main screen, you're going to go ahead and you already connected it to your network and all that kind of stuff. Sign into your Amazon account. You're going to come to the main screen. First thing that you're going to do is going to go to settings. You're going to scroll down all the way to where it says device. You can go to developer options. You're going to turn on the debugging. Then you're going to go ahead and go down, you're going to go Apps from Unknown Sources, you're going to turn on. And you're going to go ahead all the way back to the Home menu. Okay, and there's going to be your Home menu. So now you're going to go to Apps. You're going to scroll down one and you go to categories and you're going to find categories that says utilities. There's utility. You're going to click on it. All right, you're going to go to ES File Manager. Click on it and you're going to download this. This is what's going to give you access to actually browse the internet, kind of like a Windows Explorer or a Safari. So it's downloading now. All right, so now it's done installing and downloading. You're going to hit open. All right, it's going to bring you to this main menu. The first thing that you need to do is tap left twice, and it's going to bring you over to the settings menu. Um, this little pop up is going to always come up. It's basically trying to sell you something. Uh, in this case, it's Candy Crush. So you're just going to hit the back button, and you're going to go over to settings. And this is very important because if you don't do this, this little button is going to pop up on the right hand side. It's going to drive you crazy. It says logger floating widget settings. You're going to make sure you hit the top one. You're going to turn that off. All right, so now you're going to go to favorite and we're going to add a favorite. And basically what we're doing is we're adding a, a website to view. So I'm going to type in HTTP. colon slash slash fire TV guru and it's G U R U dot net And hit next and this is where you just name the link I'm just gonna call it fire F I R E you hit next all right and now you're gonna hit over to uh, right one where it says add and you click the OK all right so now the bookmark uh, has successfully been entered you're gonna scroll down to where you see fire and there it is right there fire you're gonna click it and now it's gonna bring you over to the website and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install Kodi from here. So you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. All right. Okay, so it's going to say Media Center. It's going to say Kodi 17.3, get zip here. That's what you're going to want to click on. All right, and it's going to sit here and download the zip file. Now, I am a little bit farther away from my Wi-Fi uh, hotspot or my, um, my Wi-Fi router, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. Yours is probably going to be really fast. And also do remember that this is downloading from servers, um, and I don't know where these servers would be, so it all could depend on the, um, the speed of their server as well, not just the speed of your internet.
All right, so now once it's done, you're gonna go open file, and then the APK is gonna come up and you're gonna go ahead and hit it. And what that's gonna do is gonna go, it's gonna open it and it's gonna install it. All right, you're gonna hit down at the bottom, you're gonna hit install. All right, down at the bottom, you're gonna hit open. All right, and there you see the Kodi Krypton. Now the Krypton is the newer version of Kodi, it's the newest version, and I don't like the way the interface is, and many people don't. So what I do is I change it to the older uh, interface, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. You hit the up button to a little uh, cog or a little wheel, which is settings. You're gonna go to interface settings. You're gonna go where it says skin, and you're going to change that. You're going to go get more. And you're going to go all the way down to the C's confluence. And you're going to hit that. All right, it's going to ask you if you want to install it. You're going to, it's going to install. All right, now it's going to ask you if you want to keep the change. You're going to say yes. All right, now you're going to hit the back button. Back button. Now this is the older version of Kodi the way it looks. It's just the interface. It's still the new version of Krypton. So now we're going to go over to Programs, go to Systems, File Manager, and we're going to add Source. All right. So now we're adding HTTP colon slash slash fire t vguru.net but we add an additional slash fire I'm gonna hit done it's already gonna name it fire so I'm gonna hit OK and now we're gonna hit the back button now we're gonna go to system scroll it down to where it says add-ons All right, install from zip file. And a little error is about to pop up and I'll show you what to do with the error. See, it says for security, installation of add-ons is disabled. We're just gonna to go to settings. And where it says unknown sources, we're gonna click that to hit it okay. Hit yes. We're gonna hit back. We're gonna now install it again from zip file. Scroll down to fire. Scroll down to the repository. Now we're gonna go install from repository. So we're gonna scroll up one. Go to Fire TV Guru repo. Go down to Program Add-ons. We're going to go to FTG Maintenance. We're going to click Install. Go to Fire TV Wizard. We're going to click Install. All right. Now give it a minute. It's going to say thank you for choosing. We're going to hit Dismiss. We're going to hit Continue. All right, now it's saying there's no build on there. The build is what actually gives you all the add-ons, the Exodus, the Phoenix, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go build menu. We're going to scroll down to Fire TV Build Krypton. All right, I'm going to do standard install. I'm going to do yes install. Server 1. All right, and it's gonna take a few minutes to install. All right, so once everything's done downloaded and installing, this little thing is gonna come up. It's gonna say completed 100% how many errors there were. Don't worry about the errors, you're good to go. Um, hit no thanks. All right, it's going to say it needs to force close. You're going to hit OK. It's going to reset. And it's going to bring you back to the original menu. So your first time, what you're going to have to do is go to where it says Your Apps and Games. You're going to scroll all the way over to where it says See All. 
and it's going to be all your apps that you've installed or can install. It's going to be this blue and white K that's for Cody. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And when it's open up, you're going to have to give it a few minutes. It's going to update all the add-ons and make sure that everything is installed. You're going to see the Fire TV Guru logo pop up. That's good. And it's going to look like a whole different Cody now at this point. It's going to break everything up to, uh, to TV shows, to uh, movies, to uh, live TV, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. So you're going to give it a minute, and it'll start updating. If it doesn't start updating, you can always take go to left, maintenance, and then click um, right there where it says force add-ons. You can click that, and it'll go ahead and update the add-ons for you. Now, if your system ever slows down, or it's not finding um, any of the servers for the TV shows or anything you want to watch, you can do that maintenance force um, update add-ons and then it'll go ahead and refresh everything and then uh, it should uh, potentially fix everything for you and that's pretty much it if you have any questions leave me comments below and i'll go ahead and answer them as soon as i can thanks and have a good day